Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to configure one to many relationship in entity framework by using MVC code first migration. So we will create a project which uses code first migration and then we will configure one to many relationship. Before we get started, first of all we discuss what is one to many relationship. So you can see here is an example of one to many relationship let's say we have one customer and customer have many orders and order belong to a customer so by taking this example we will consider same scenario in our project so let's get started i have created a new mvc project and in this project we have application db contents class i'm sure you are familiar with it when we are using entity framework we use application db contents so our main focus in this video is entity framework one to many relationship and we will work on the example that we discussed earlier uh, in which we discussed that customer have many orders and an order belong to a customer so let's get started so now i will add a customer class in our model folder we name it customer.cs and second class we need is the order class that we discussed earlier in our example order.cs so first of all we will work on customer class so we will add basic properties for customer just like customer id and customer name and third one is contact number that's enough for our customer class and now we will add basic properties in our order class so we will add an order id second one is uh, item and third one is uh, total so we have created two classes one is customer and second one is order so in order to connect these two classes in a way that which work on a rule of one to many relationship that we discussed earlier in our example that customer has many orders so i will declare a list of orders in our customer class so we will add list of order and name is orders and it will initialize in the constructor so i will initialize it in a way that when customer call it is already initialized the so orders one new list of orders we will work further on our order class as we discussed an order belong to a single customer so we will add a customer property in our order class and name is as customer so now here is the most important thing to connect one to many relationship or configure one to many relationship entity framework we need to define a foreign key here so for our order class we will add a customer key customer key foreign key here with name customer id and we'll add a data annotation on customer id foreign key of customer at namespace so what this configuration 
doing here it will go in the customer class and configure this customer id as a foreign key in order class so in our order class we will have a customer id and in our customer class we will have multiple orders so now we will enable migrations for this project and generate our first migration then we will have a look how the migration is generated um, using our configuration then we will apply migration on the database and we will verify on SQL server so let's enable migration for this project to enable migration we will have to go in package manager console and we will enable migration by using this command so it will enable the migration for our current project and we are not discussing migrations related thing in this video in detail as we are focusing on one to many relationship configuration in entity framework you can see our migration enabled successfully you can see the folder of migrations with configuration cs file here so now next step we will add initial migration by using the command add migration and provide name initial migration what it wanna do it will generate the migration for our project but one thing i missed here i will have to add our classes in application db context otherwise they did not consider the in the migration so we will go into the identity model and in our application db context class we will add two db sets first one is customer and name it as customers and we will make it virtual second one is orders db set of orders and we will name it as orders so now we will create an initial migration here i will hit enter it is working on migration generation let's see what is generated for us so here is our generated migration we have customer migration and order migration in which customer class you can see we have three properties and one is primary key of customer id and secondly in our order class we have customer id with foreign key and index of customer id so it is successfully created our relationship of one to many configuration now we will apply this migration on our database and will have a look in SQL Server. Now we will open Package Manager console and type command update dash database. Now it is applying migration on our database. successfully applied and our database name is my test app so we will go into the SQL server and we will refresh my database folder and we have my test app database here so in the tables we have customer table and order tables in customer we have our columns and keys as you can see and in our order class or table we have customer id as foreign key 
so we have successfully configured one to many relationship in entity framework and we have discussed in detail how to configure one to many relationship using code first migration so i hope it helps you and if you like this video kindly like and share it if it really helps you thank you for watching thank you